Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment and deviate from my usual content since I sold the BMW i3 in favor of a new EV and I'm still waiting for that and the teardrop camper is almost done but uh, those videos need a lot of editing so maybe it goes without saying but putting faith in a random seller from a Facebook ad is maybe not the most wise thing to do but so I did and we are gonna review this uh, supposedly awesome AirTag wallet and I'm gonna tell you why you should not buy it so when I viewed the seller's web page it all looked good and uh, especially the images it looked really good uh, but even more so the payment option Klarna if you're not familiar with Klarna they let the buyer pay after receiving the item and a secure way to stop the payment if the item never arrives or so I understand but let's start with the ad and check this one out okay so this is the ad that um, that came up in my Facebook feed and it says, uh, never lose your wallet, your cards, your ID card ever again. Security, where are your cards and ID and cash? Trace your wallet with an AirTag when you cannot find it. 100% hmm. RFID protected, super light and thin. Nice design. Good looking design. Click here. So, I mean, like from the image, it looks, in my mind, it looks really good. It looks um, really good, like the stitching. And um, the, the edges look like really nicely rounded. And uh, every slot for your card has a stitched seam. And that um, like the button that holds the ear tag, it looks uh, like it's a, a stainless steel, I guess. It looks really nice. It looks high quality. Okay, so let's uh, go to the web page and see what they show you here. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. So here we are on the web page, and uh, we have the same image here, the same information. Um, tag it, call it, find it, never lose it again. This is her uh, main. Go away. Okay, we don't need a newsletter. Go away. So on the front, it. Uh, I especially want to show you the the way it looks, and I want to compare this with what I actually got. The, this doesn't really look, I mean, after now, after having the AirTag next to it and trying it out, the, the AirTag cannot be this thin, it's uh, thicker, but they, in this image, they, they make it look like it wouldn't be as thick and wide as it is, because in reality, it's way thicker, it's like, yeah, it's more out here. I think it's false marketing. Take a close look at what it looks like, and we're gonna switch back to opening the package and checking that out okay so let's open this up this actually just came in a gray plastic bag and as soon as they sent it they gave me the tracking and that's when i realized where this came from they sent it straight from china they didn't even have a um, inventory in sweden or yeah and this is what it looks like I, I mean when i saw this one i was like oh my god really is this it is this really what I paid? I paid about 32 USD, like 30 Euro, 300 Swedish for this. Like piece of junk, piece of crap. I will throw this in the trash if I if I wouldn't intend to return it. But I mean, before I return it, I just have to show you. So first of all, if we look at these seams here and we compare them to the images, um, this one is only, it's like pressed. It has like, a, they did this with a hot edge or something, just to give it a, um, a pressed edge here. And they didn't sew this one. And the same over here. And if you look at this button here, it's like, I mean, it, it feels like China. This is like China in the essence of making cheap bullshit crap. Um, the seams around the edge, it, it looks like, it doesn't look like the image, it's like the stitching is tighter, um, it just looks like they did it to hold it together, but it doesn't look good. And the corners, they're like jagged, they're not that smooth or rounded. And if we move to the profile image, 
and I show you like this. Um, you can see that it's bulging out quite a lot here. And well, we have a loose thread over here. And well, okay, so this is like the biggest thing. Like, this is supposed to be straight. This is just a joke. It looks like fucking rubbish. So let's put the ear tag in it and let me show you what that then looks like. So I mean it fits decent in there. There's a little bit too much space in there. And it looks like it could be oh, it might be good size. You know what? I'm gonna get some plastic cards and put in here. Okay, so I get a bunch of cards. So we're gonna put them in and just Show how this one will fill out. We got three of them in here. I got two more. Let's put them um, one over here and uh, one over there. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just like it's starting to fill out, but it's doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. It's just a piece of crap. If I paid less for this, I would just throw it in the trash and say, okay, yeah, I screwed up. But this is like really bad. Like, I'm surprised they're selling this. And in their marketing, they're like, I get the impression that it's their product that they, that they made. Like, well, this is a piece of junk. I would be ashamed if I made this. So here it's really uneven and it's even un it's uneven here too. And then you have all of this bulging and look at this, look at the button here. Let's skip around. Look here. This is just, it doesn't look good. I mean, who would wear this? I mean, they have some reviews on their webpage and I promise you those are Either people are blind or they wrote them themselves. Because this is just a piece of junk. Yeah, so maybe this goes without saying. Shouldn't buy stuff from a Facebook ad. But so I did. And I just wanted to show you why you should not buy this wallet. It's just, uh, it is horrible. I mean, it kind of does what it says it's supposed to do. But it doesn't look good at all. Because they say that it's supposed to be first class leather wallet mm, yeah it's thin it's elegant it's the perfect um, yeah perfect wallet so what do you think about this should i use this at my daily or should i just return it throw it in the trash would you buy this would you buy this piece of junk yeah, you shouldn't, just to make sure, just to be clear, you should not buy this. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Maybe I can get motivation to edit some of that Tear of Camper footage, because it's a lot to edit. It's like too much. Okay, thank you for watching. this one instead this one cost less than half of uh, the amount that I paid for the wallet so I'll try this instead no wait here yeah that looks better get rid of the polish So, at least I can get some use for this one. Ah, oh, fingerprint magnet. Yeah. This looks good though. It's like less than half the price. 